Picture yourself in Nevada's high desert, the sun blazing overhead, the air shimmering with heat. The landscape stretches endlessly, a vast expanse of sagebrush and sand, punctuated by distant hills and the occasional lonely cactus. In the distance, a steep, rounded hill stands out. Unlike any ordinary mountain, it rises abruptly from the flat desert floor, almost demanding your attention. Its sides are covered in pale, blocky rocks that almost glow in the sunlight, their light color a stark contrast to the darker earth around them. Most would ignore it, but to a prospector, this is a beacon, a rhyolite dome, possibly hiding gold, silver or other treasures beneath its surface. These domes are remnants of ancient volcanic violence, where molten rocks surged upward and stopped abruptly, cooling into unique formations that have stood for millions of years. The dome's unique shape is your first clue, formed by thick, sticky magma that fractured the earth as it rose, creating a landscape unlike any other in the region. These fractures became pathways for mineral-rich fluids, carrying gold and silver, weaving a hidden network of veins through the rock. The dome is just the centerpiece. The real story is in the cracks and altered rocks around it, where minerals have been deposited over countless ages. Gold can be found in veins within the dome itself, in shattered rock at its base where erosion and time have exposed hidden riches, or in the altered country rock nearby, where chemical changes have left telltale signs for those who know how to look. Rhyolite domes are geological puzzles. Solving them can lead to real discoveries, and every clue brings you closer to the prize. Your job is to read the clues, the shape, the rock, the fractures, and the subtle signs of mineralization that others might miss. Don't just pass by these odd hills. Stop and investigate, for they may hold secrets that have eluded generations. The forces that built the dome may have left a fortune behind waiting for the right person to uncover it. Learn to recognize the signs, and you could be standing at the doorstep of a major find where history and geology meet. The dome is the engine, but the gold is in the system it created, spreading outwards, hidden in plain sight. For over a century, prospectors have targeted these features for good reason, drawn by the promise of discovery and adventure. Will you be the next to unlock their secrets, and perhaps write your own chapter in the story of the American West? Think of a rhyolite dome as nature's volcanic muffin, an impressive rounded mound formed by the slow eruption of thick, sticky lava. These domes are not your typical volcanoes with dramatic peaks or craters. Instead, they rise quietly, building up layer by layer as the lava oozes out and piles up over time. Rhyolite magma is incredibly thick and sticky, so instead of flowing away like runny lava, it piles up right over the vent, creating a dome that grows taller and steeper with each eruption. This process creates a steep, rounded hill with a blocky broken surface, called breccia. The surface often looks jagged and rough, a result of the lava breaking apart as it cools and contracts. The rock itself is light-colored, white, pink, cream, or even pale green, and is usually fine-grained, making it easy to spot among darker rocks. Sometimes you'll notice flow banding, wavy lines that look a bit like marble cake. These bands are unique to volcanic rocks like rhyolite and tell the story of how the lava moved as it cooled. Rhyolite is actually the volcanic cousin of granite, but while granite cools slowly underground, rhyolite cools quickly at the surface, so its crystals are tiny and hard to see without a magnifier. Occasionally, rhyolite cools so fast it forms obsidian, a shiny volcanic glass prized by collectors and toolmakers alike. Learning to spot these features, color, texture, and banding, helps you identify rhyolite domes in the field, even from a distance. These domes stand out from darker volcanic rocks like basalt or from layered sedimentary rocks, making them easy to pick out in a landscape. Recognizing a dome's unique shape and rock type is your first step toward finding gold and other valuable minerals. These domes are more than just landmarks. They're important clues to hidden mineral systems that could be waiting just below the surface. Mastering the identification of rhyolite domes is essential for any serious prospector or geologist hoping to make a discovery. The right dome could be your ticket to a gold discovery, as these formations often host valuable mineral deposits. Know what you're looking at, and you're already ahead in the search for hidden treasures beneath the Earth's surface. The birth of a rhyolite dome is violent and dramatic, a true spectacle of nature's power. Imagine forcing cold peanut butter through a small hole. That's how thick, sticky magma oozes up, unable to flow far, piling up into a dome. As the dome pushes up, it shatters the surrounding country rock, creating a network of fractures and cracks that radiate outward. 
These cracks are vital. They become the plumbing for gold-bearing hydrothermal fluids, acting as pathways deep within the earth. Deep underground, hot, mineral-rich water circulates, carrying gold, silver, and quartz, all dissolved in a superheated solution. As these fluids rise through the fractures, they cool and deposit their minerals, forming quartz veins laced with gold and other valuable metals. The dome itself can also fracture, creating even more space for gold to accumulate and concentrate over time. This is the classic recipe for a load gold deposit. Heat, fractures, and mineral-rich fluids all working together in a perfect geological storm. Gold can be found in veins within the dome itself, locked in quartz and hidden from plain sight, or in the shattered rock around it where the mineral-rich fluids have seeped and left their treasures behind. The dome's formation prepares the ground, making it permeable and ready for gold deposition, setting the stage for future discovery. For prospectors, understanding this process is key to finding the richest zones. Knowledge is as valuable as the gold itself. The dome is the catalyst. The gold is in the system it creates, hidden in the fractures and veins it leaves behind. Follow the fractures and you follow the gold. Nature's clues leading to hidden riches beneath your feet. On the ground, your eyes are your best tool. Look for quartz veins, thin stringers or thick bands, cutting through the dome or nearby rocks. Pay attention to quartz with rusty, iron-stained surfaces. That's a great sign. Iron staining comes from weathered sulfide minerals, indicating gold-friendly hydrothermal activity. Areas with heavy iron stains, called gossons, are prime targets. Also look for altered rocks. Bleached, soft, or clay-like zones show chemical change from hot fluids. Silicified rocks, hard and glassy, are another clue. The best spots combine quartz veins, iron staining, and altered rock. Trace loose, stained quartz pieces, float, uphill to their source. The more clues you find together, the better your chances. Don't look for just one sign, look for a combination. The ideal target is a network of iron-stained quartz veins in altered rock, especially near the dome's base. Every clue is a piece of the puzzle. Be a detective. Follow the evidence left by ancient geological processes. That's how discoveries are made. Don't just search the top of the dome. Focus on the edges. The contact zone where rhyolite meets country rock is where the most intense fracturing and gold deposition occur. Walk the dome's perimeter, looking for quartz veins, iron stains, and altered rock along the boundary. Breccia zones, jumbled rocks cemented together, are especially promising, acting like sponges for gold-rich fluids. Systematically check the margins and any vent breccias for signs of mineralization. Use a metal detector and take samples from promising spots. The richest veins are often found at the dome's edge, not its center. Target the margins, not just the obvious spots. A focused search yields the best results. The American West is full of rhyolite domes, prime ground for gold hunters. Nevada is a hotspot, with famous mines like Round Mountain and districts around Tonopah and Goldfield. Arizona's Basin and Range Province is dotted with volcanic fields and domes, especially near Oatman, Kingman, and Wickenburg. Colorado's San Juan Volcanic Field and districts like Creed and Cripple Creek are rich in volcanic-hosted gold. New Mexico's Mogollon Dato Field and California's Eastern Sierra Nevada also have promising rhyolite domes. Many areas have a long mining history, but new discoveries are still possible. Use geological maps to find tertiary-age volcanic rocks and mapped rhyolite domes. Focus on the margins of volcanic centers for the best prospects. There's still gold waiting for those who know where to look. Start with the right geology and you're halfway there. In the field, a simple checklist keeps you focused. First, identify the dome. Look for steep, rounded hills of light-colored, fine-grained rhyolite. Confirm with textures like flow banding or breccia. Next, hunt for fractures and quartz veins. These are the gold pathways. Scan for iron-stained zones, gossons, and areas of altered or silicified rock. The best targets combine quartz veins, heavy iron staining, and obvious alteration. Check the contact zone between the dome and country rock. Look for breccia zones and sample promising areas. Use a metal detector where gold may be fine-grained. Systematic searching beats wandering. Follow the clues. Every sign you find increases your odds. This checklist is your roadmap to success. Searching for gold is about reading the land's hidden story. Rhyolite domes are monuments to ancient volcanism and potential gold. 
By learning their signs, shape, color, fractures, and alteration, you become a true prospector. This knowledge lets you target the best ground, not just wander. The American West still holds countless unexplored domes. Modern tools and geological understanding give you an edge over the old-timers. Fine-grained gold missed in the past is waiting for today's prospector. Next time you see a rounded, pale hill, stop and investigate. Use your checklist, examine the contact zones, and follow the clues. Each dome is a new opportunity. With persistence and skill, you could be the one to uncover the next big discovery.